but uh, there was a, a perception check with advantage and Bekire felt something moving in her bag. Oh yeah, the old the bones. Back. Yeah. yeah. Uh, some some uh, rattling and uh, and uh, movement in the bag. Not entirely sure why. <laughs> why could it be? Okay. And uh, as you guys uh, start to uh, to slowly uh, uh, listen more carefully about what's uh, what's happening, you you kind of uh, hear stranger noises uh, outside uh, above uh, above the ground, and apparently uh, both the sounds are are getting more and more amplified. Cal is going to uh, switch to his hammer. Mm. That's one thing. Mm. And uh, it's getting uh, stronger and stronger and stronger. I guess we're all being really quiet. Is that probably what we're doing? Yes. And uh, suddenly you hear a rattle uh, at the top uh, here, but that's, that's where the, the stairs are. Hold on, let me uh, signal. I could signal the uh, map on the ground. Uh, I don't have a signal anymore. Why don't I have a signal? Okay, freehand. Zero ship. So basically, here you hear knocking on the door. Apparently it's a uh, knocking and knocking and knocking and knocking and knocking. You put planks, you put planks, but it's uh, it's kind of uh, starting to to feel like uh, there is pressure on those planks. What do you guys do? Stop your army. Yeah, stay quiet, I guess. And okay. pray that the planks hold out. And suddenly, okay. And suddenly, you hear a uh, rattle that is coming uh, from uh, around here. Why oh, I put a uh, red, uh, red dot? Uh oh. Here. Yes. How do I raise this thing? Do we also hear it up the stairs? Oh, there's one. There is a up the stairs. Yes, that's what you start to hear. Growling. Did we look, you know uh, what we didn't do, guys? We didn't, we didn't get rid of the bodies, I think. Uh, but we blocked that, uh, like we put the closet back in front of that uh, entrance. Yes, yes, right? you, did, you did put the closet back. Yeah, so it's closed from both sides. Uh, yes, yes. So we should probably just keep silent, I guess. Yeah. So uh, at this point, you start to hear banging on the on the closet that you put back. Does it look like it's going to break or something? Uh, it looks like uh, it's not. But uh, strong. It's a it's a solid uh, piece of furniture, but uh, apparently something is banging against it. Now, oh, guys, do we want to see what is behind that? Did, did we leave the bodies of those of those girls that we killed in that room? Maybe they came back to life. Yeah, we didn't say we disposed of the bodies. Yeah, I don't think we did. Yeah, I don't want to see what's behind that, but I guess. Get rid of this. Uh... The drawing? No. Uh, the... I have a character sheet in front of me and I don't know how to get rid of it. Oh. Uh... It should be a small X, top right. No, there's nothing, no. Really? Ah. Okay, okay let's, let's try to delete or escape. Or reload. 
Uh, maybe I need to reload. Okay, so let's do. So yes, crack. And uh, apparently now the, the piece of furniture is uh, shaking. It's, it's like boom, guys, boom, boom. Get ready, guys. What do you want to do? Get ready. Let's let's not stand where we're gonna get uh, bobbered by. Okay, po position yourselves. Position yourselves. Uh, Why don't we support that uh, closet so it doesn't like, you know, get like, doesn't, you then can push it. Like, so if you can't push it. Okay, if you could uh, position yourself, okay, that's the position you guys take. Okay, I'm gonna like, stand in front of that closet and like uh, prevent okay. it from moving, like I'm basically supporting it with my body. Okay. Um, Tony, do you do anything? You stay where you are? Yeah, I just um, take my shield and my mace and stay ready. Okay. Uh, and then... You have uh, more and more uh, banging against uh, this uh, closet. And suddenly everybody needs to roll for initiative because suddenly appear first uh, ah. what do I need to drag a monster on the on the map um. ah okay do you see what I'm uh, showing you? Yeah, yeah there's a friendly skeleton. Yes, so where is the skeleton? <laughs> and still I'm struggling with... Uh... Well, where, where did that skeleton appear from? He appears basically uh, from the... Um, uh, from the, the room. Uh, where you left the, the two ghasts. But uh, <laughs> apparently now it's... Uh, it doesn't move exactly like a gas, but it moves more mechanically like a skeleton. Okay, everybody roll for initiative. Mm. We did that. Yeah, we did. Okay, so where, are, where is the initiative? Where do I see that in the chat room? So, Bekire is a 9, Cal is a 9, Tony is a 10. Oh, you guys start to roll high, apparently. <laughs> and Doreen oh. is a 7. I did let's it. see, let's see a bad boss uh, skeleton. It's an 11. <laughs> okay, so the first skeleton is going to attack uh, who is this Doran, and the second one is going to move. Why don't I? Why can't I? Why I don't have control on the, on the skeleton? You might get the wrong layer. Map layer should be. Game layer. Yeah. I think the music is getting louder again. Okay. Yeah. It's quite okay. difficult to hear in, here. Like this? Oh, good. Nice better. Okay. Sorry, I uh, do edit. Oh my god. Map. Project. GM. Sorry. It's a pain to use this thing for a moment. Layer. Okay, I should put it on the token layer or the map layer? Token layer. Okay. And why I can't uh, move uh, this uh, token? Are you also on the token layer? Uh, am I on the token layer? No, I'm not on the token layer. Okay. Oh, maybe you put me on the GM layer, now that you think about it. Um, maybe that's why I can't move myself. <laughs> okay, so we should be on the object token layer. I don't have anything on the token layer. Hmm. Guys, it's complicated. That's okay. <laughs> if 
you can move me, that's fine. That's I'll fine. just tell you where I want to move. No, I can't even move you. I, I, I can't really? just move the map. I can move the map. Oh. And I'm on an object and token layer. I thought someone just moved me. Maybe I can uh, reload. Let me reload on my side. Interesting. Please. Okay, anyway, the first skeleton is going to have a swing at um, Doran. Okay. Okay, the attack is... Uh, so 1d20... That's a 12, and uh, I'll give it a plus 4. So that's a 16. What's your armor class, Doran? 19. 19, so it barely scraps you, nothing is really happening. Next one is going to... Hold on. Is... Ah, okay, I can move. I, I needed to reload. Next one is going to attack Tony. Ah, I'm here. Yeah, Tony. No, Tony, you are uh, here. What? Eh? Oh, wait. This, this is my token. Is, is, is this your token? Yeah. Oh. No, this one should be uh, um, Reiki Bay. Be yeah, because I thought that this is mine, but I cannot. Oh, move okay, it okay, okay. I, I even put Tony as a name. I think it was mine. Okay, this okay. One is Tony. It's okay. Uh, I can't see my token then. Isn't it this I one? Guess... Let me see. Yes, that's all. One. Let me see the layer. Where do you see the layer? I, I guess I will reload. I will reload, guys. Yeah, okay, reload. D20 yes. is weird today. Yeah, I cannot move any of you guys. Justin. Okay, let me roll. So that's a 6 uh, plus 4, 10. Uh, probably miss. Yeah, it's a miss. And uh, you definitely recognize uh, those gas, but uh, apparently at the moment they are moving like uh, skele ske skeletons. And, uh, uh, the gas? It's the girls. Yes, the girls. Uh, those are the same girls. Um, Damn it. But now they are a bit like a skeleton format. I see. Oh, and you still hear banging roll. in your door, in, in your back. Uh, let me show you. I need to do the map. How do I signal? No, I can't. Uh, anyway. Well, you select dash move and then hold down to, uh, the mouse button. Oh, okay, it, I can it, see my token now. It won't work in any other mode. You have to be in the arrow mode. Uh, next in line is Tony, what do you do? I guess I will caress this guy with my mace. Okay. Let's see if I hit him. I did a 23. All right, so roll for damage. Seven. Seven, okay, so I'll take it. Yes, next is uh, Bikire. Oh, Cal, you can decide. Ah, you can go first. Cal? Cal? Okay. Uh, Cal will attack the one in front of him. This one. I think the reason uh, Ray can't move her token is that I have control over it. It's yeah, right? You, you can move me. that. Yeah, not me. Yeah. Bizarre. That would make sense. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so I'll just, uh, I'm attacking with the Warhammer. Yeah. Let's see if this works. Uh, one. Oh, work. There we go. Wow. Oh. Okay, goes through. And hold on a second, the, the bludgeoning is not, the damage is not right. Let me reroll the damage. Because I'm using it with two hands. Sorry, my it's a D10 plus four, so it's ten damage. <laughs> Same thing. Okay. Um, ten damage. Um, now, question though is, um, it's a hammer. 
Does a skeleton have any vulnerability to hammers? If they do, they might take extra damage. No, it's uh, they have um, uh, advantage on. Uh, ah, yes, they have damage uh, damage vulnerability ah, vulnerabilities for bludgeoning. What is vulnerability? I know how. Um... Yeah, you double the damage. I think. Yeah, look that up. Yeah, bludgeoning does double to skellies in 5e. Okay, so that's uh, you pulverize the, the poor little girl that uh, came back to life and uh, she collapses uh, on the floor. Are you calling that a girl? <laughs> yes, she's a little girl, like uh, maybe teenager. But uh, you hate them, of course. Bitches. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Okay, so this one is... Then I guess what I'll do with, with my movement, if it's gone, is I'll move up and take its spot there. Okay. Uh, uh, why am I moving you? I think there's more coming from that way. Okay. Might I, be. I take it out. Okay, next is uh, Bikire. Yeah, uh, first of all, could you please give me um, control over the okay. token? How do I do that in the journal? No, I, I think, think it's assigned to me. It's assigned yeah, to it's, it's currently me. assigned to you, Anthony. So. But I think you're right. I think you go to the journal and you double click on, on Becky Ray's character. Yes. And then you go to... Um, edit? Yeah, edit. And uh, I see in Payer's journal, Becky Ray can be edited and controlled by Becky Ray. Oh, that's just a journal. I think you have to go to the actual token and give me ownership of the token itself. Okay. Well, maybe the token's not connected to the character sheet. Maybe yeah, probably. It. Yeah. Uh, uh, hold on. Delete the token in that character sheet when you hit edit and then, you know, highlight it like we did before so it's selected and then re reassign okay. it and save. Okay. Oh, God. Um, okay, Roberto, maybe you can try to drag it. Can okay. you try to drag it on the map? Drag. Uh, it is. Uh, can you move it now? Nope. Still mine. Ah, <laughs> uh, but it's no. You, how, how... you have to go into the, I think the settings of the actual token. Like there should be like a cog wheel. If you, you could yes, click yes, on it. got it. Okay. And... Ah, yes, controlled by Tony. Yes, indeed. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Good. Uh, okay. And this Ooh, one. Freedom! <laughs> I'm out of here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. 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 Thanks. Cancel. Control by determined by character setting. Okay. Uh, Tony, can you control your character? Yes. Excellent. And uh, Doran, you can control your character. And Carl, you can control. Okay, next is uh, Doran. Yeah. I'm gonna well, I didn't do anything, but fine. <laughs> ah, sorry, uh, Becky, okay. Yeah, okay, go <laughs> No problem. Yeah, it's okay. okay, so you, you no retreat any, good. Has no problem. Yeah, I retreat probably just a firebolt for okay. good measure. Uh, let's see if I can do this from the character sheet. Uh, spells. Just a firebolt. Okay. 15. Okay, so it goes through indeed. Roll for damage. And 4 damage. For damage, the little girl still stays on. Okay. Okay. Next is uh, Doran. Okay, so we only have one skeleton, just a little girl, right? Yeah. So far. Okay, I'm, uh -huh. going, to, I'm going to attack it with my uh, helper. Okay. Go for attack. It's 11. Okay. It's work. Uh, 11. No, it's uh, the small girls uh, managed to avoid the Albert. Albert. Okay, I'm taking. I'm holding my shield, so I can't attack with the other side of the weapon. So that's it. Okay. 
Now it's the little girl. She's moving uh, away. One, two, oh. three. Smack it. And she starts to bang on the on the planks. So she didn't. So she didn't try to retreat. So I can do an opportunity attack. Yeah, I need to actually. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, kill it before it does the knock. Okay. Go first. I go after you. Okay, Tony. <sighs> twelve. Tony. I, I rolled. Yeah. It's a twelve. Ah, okay, I don't see it. Damn it. It's a 12, yeah. Uh, it's a 12. Okay, so it's missed. Okay, I will try as well. So yeah. It's 15. 15, it goes through. Yeah. Hit it. Seven damage. Seven, is it uh, slashing damage? It is, let me see, seven damage. Slashing damage, yeah. Yes, it is. Okay. Slashing damage. Uh, so before uh, the little girl managed to break uh, through uh, the planks, uh, you you cut it, uh, you cut her also in, uh, in several pieces, and she stumbled on the floor. Okay, let's put it on. Let's put it on the side. And uh, still, you have a lot of banging and banging and banging, and apparently there's a lot of pressure now. Can someone roll for perception? Okay. Okay. I'll, okay. I'll put it All right. That's perfect. So yes, that's perfect. So Tony uh, realized that uh, one of the planks uh, has uh, has been broken, and there are another three that are holding apparently. And you start to see hands, uh, bones, and hands of uh, skeletons reaching uh, through uh, through the opening. Oh my God! This is Night of the Dead. Yes, they're well, coming. I... Oh my god, I okay. I reposition myself here. Yeah. Know that we are here. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go in front. Open my shoes. But... Okay. Uh, Cal, where do you play place yourself? Just there. Okay. Still you're fine. Yeah. Okay. I am fine there. All right. Okay, so there is a, a few more uh, shards uh, that are flying from from the planks, but uh, it's holding. But uh, they are uh, kind of um, um, uh, making cuts now inside the planks. Hmm. Uh, how tall is this room, by the way? Is, is, uh, is the ceiling, yeah? Yeah, it's uh, something like a uh, six foot plus uh, <sighs> in, enough for a, a human. Uh, okay. It's not very... Oh. Okay. I guess I'm readying a firebolt if I see a full body skeleton. Okay, there's another plank that uh, flies uh, inside the room and uh, now there are just two... Uh, Two planks are holding, uh, holding uh, the entrance. Okay. Okay, you guys on that? Sit. Uh, bad. Why, uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. I, I have an idea. Maybe Just... you can let, you can leave, you can leave your, uh, your backpack here and we can hide in this room. Okay. We could try. Let's try it? immediately. Let's, don't, let's not speak about it. Let's try it. I'll follow. Yeah, very. Really, uh, so everybody is going to the fungus room. Okay, fungus room it is. Uh, how do you hide? How do you guys hide? We put the closet back and we are behind it. I'm, I'm gonna stand here. Okay, basically the, the closet is a bit destroyed, but uh, you can pick up so, some of the pieces and uh, kind of make a, a barricade. You... Gilles, it's important. It's important to say that we left the backpack with the bones. Yeah, yeah. I dropped okay. it. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Maybe they're here for the bones. Good idea. Mm. 
Okay, and then uh, the, the last two planks are really uh, uh, now uh, flying all, all over the room, and uh, you have uh, uh, skeletons uh, tumbling and uh, and rolling on the floor because they are pushed by other skeletons. I, I don't put them uh, inside uh, on the map, but uh, you see uh, bones and, uh, and skulls rolling and over uh, skeletons flowing, flowing in and flowing in, and, uh, and then they start to, to look around uh, with... Uh, um interest apparently they they are looking at uh, the bag that you you left but uh, you are not sure because you are mainly hiding rather than uh, trying to observe uh, very attentively and uh, you have uh, you have uh, noises that are uh, quite scary and uh, and you just pray for them not to see you. So let's roll a, a passive perception check for them. Let's see. All right, so you are hidden. So let's say, okay, they... one of them is uh, actually uh, coming and uh, putting his head uh, close to where you guys are, not noticing uh, much because uh, it's dark. But uh, even they have a passive, uh, they have a passive uh, vision, dark vision. No, they don't have dark vision. All right. And it goes like this uh, for for a few long, 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 long minutes. And uh, you don't know exactly if they are going to find you or not. They are destroying things. And, uh, and uh, suddenly the, the sound gets uh, quieter and quieter. You don't know how long it has been, but you stay where you are, uh, hoping that uh, uh, it's really, really gone for the moment. All right, is the coast clear? I don't know. Tony, you... Tony doesn't speak. She just watches the other guys. I can't move because my armor will make noise if I try to move. Okay, but, that's I, correct. That's I correct. move closer and try to listen to shuffling noises. Okay, do a perception check. All right, perception check. Not great at it. Perception. Ah. Yeah, nice. nice. Not terrible. Nice. So you turn to your friends and say, "I think they they are they are strolling uh, close to the sea and they are patrolling apparently." Yeah. Uh, I do the sign language stuff like mm. something. Well, for those of you who have dark vision, that's fine because it's very very dark. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I just whisper like, "I think the coast is clear." Very, very good idea, uh, Tony's. I, I think we should just rest here. Do we want to sneak up on them? No, let's stay there here be more while it's safe. Yeah, probably that's pretty hard. But still, uh, you, you hear a lot of lot of noises still outside. Uh, mm. the, it's, it's not di directly... Um, Close to to the place, a location where you are, but there is a, a lot, a lot, a lot of now. Like, like all around a... the city, and the city must be swarmed right now. Yes, you really have this feeling that the city is swarming with uh, with movement and uh, on uh, rocks that are being moved on uh, slow motion on uh, crackling uh, bones. So yeah, I suggest uh, just uh, hiding and resting here and waiting for the sunlight. In terms of resting, and, um, it's, it's not really possible because there, there is so much tension and, uh, and uh, you have to keep alert uh, all the time. Yeah. It's really uh, taking you to the, to the guts. Uh, that's okay. Sorry, that's part of a module. <laughs> Let's yeah. say characters cannot rest because of the tension. Well, but, not uh, a long rest, I suppose, but no, we, no I think we can do a short no one. Maybe, maybe we could give you a few points on a short one. Yes, that's, okay. that's not, not, bad. not that I'm getting back much, but <laughs> sure. Yeah. OK. 
Okay. So you wait and wait and wait and. Uh, and we got then... a short rest, okay? Because... Yeah. Let's let's say you can uh, wait for short rest. Uh, you sleep uh, with just one eye uh, closed and very uncomfortably. Mm. Uh, you. You, you just shake to to and wake up to every single noise it can be just a rat or something uh, it's it's a very very scary uh night that you are experiencing you, you have never lived something like that you you could never have thought that's a, a city that looked completely abandoned uh, change uh, during the night so much And then suddenly, the hear, you hear a sound uh, as a fading, um, and there is a slight um, um, ray of uh, of light that are start starting to filter through the, oh, through ray. the stairs. It's morning. Uh, and Good apparently. Job, guys. Apparently, the, the movement uh, is is getting away from uh, from your location. Good. I suggest waiting a bit more to be sure. Like w one extra hour before leaving. Maybe that's when we have our short rest finally. <laughs> or it's, it's finally it, silent. Does, I wonder if this means that our only choice is to sleep during the day and be active at night, even though it's more dangerous. I mean, it kind of forces us to do so, yes. How injured is everybody? Do people... I'm uh, good. I think we are all full. I'm full just HP. mentally a bit tired. Yeah. We're just out of energy. Yeah. So I guess it's a decision. Do we... I mean, Maybe well... there's a way we could sort of split it? I mean, it's summer, right? So technically, our days are longer, so we can probably pull off a good sleep and then still be active kind of during half of the day. You're part of it, maybe. Uh, but we're losing some time with that. Although we're not pressed for time. So. What time not is a bad it? Idea. The, the first ray of light started to appear around 5.30, 5.10, 5.15. Right. 5.15, let's say. I'd say let's give a look-see if our theory is right that the undead have gone yeah. back to wherever they came from. And then if, it, if the coast is clear, I mean... Actually, I have an idea. We are not in a rush. This place was like this for decades yeah. right mm -hmm. nobody's stopping us to set up camp like two hours march west from the city west from the city and get our good rest and come back in the morning i mean we could wild camp why not anyway let's have a look outside yeah let's let's confirm the situation Okay, I will move you to outside view. Okay, we change view. All right, so you should have a village view now, if it wants to load. Uh -huh. Do you guys see the map? Yep. yep. Okay. It's blurry, but it's loading, I guess. Yes, it's blurry. Uh, it's I fine. Guess. It's gonna be fine. Uh, yeah. Ah, okay. I heard. It. I see. Okay. Well. So, which way do you want to go and? Hmm. We are very so right now. We are here. We are here. Yeah. Right. I kind of want to check out that bell because I wonder who was ringing that bell. My suggestion is actually to move here and march for about two hours west outside of the Cursed City and set camp 
rest, mm -hmm. and then yeah. come back. We could do that too. This room? Yeah. I mean, we came from that way anyways, right? Yeah. Okay. I presume the road was uneventful. Uh, it depends where, where you are. Can you uh, guys move a token so we can observe what's oh, going on? Oh, I have to drop. Okay. Uh, I mean, we're probably gonna... Ugh. Again, I don't have control. Interesting. Well... I have control of your token. Again? It, wow. It's, it's yes. bizarre. It's weird. But what if just one of us do it on the big map? Because it's sort of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that yeah, just one, just one. Okay, let's start from the, the house where you were. Yeah, you can delete my token for now. It's fine. Okay. So where are you guys? Uh, let's start. Technically, from the... we are here. Yes. Technically, yes. we are here. Yes. Yes. So I will put this token here. Yeah. Okay. As you you guys are slowly emerging from the. Um, uh from the the, the, the basement um the, the, the landscape is the same uh, besides that you you see uh the, the traces of steps uh and things have been a bit moved around but it's still the, the same uh, abandoned place no uh, nothing more than that Um, can someone uh, put uh, uh, through uh, a perception check? High perception, if possible. Sure. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the wind is a bit fresher, you think? <laughs> I share my opinion with everybody. The wind is a bit mm. fresher. All right. Mm. Okay. Um, the sea and uh, nothing, nothing much more than that. You're a bit exhausted because basically, okay, you could have a short rest, but still uh, a lot of tension. Yeah. Yeah, of course. So yeah, what we want to do is move here. Okay. So let me roll. Uh, that's fine. You you make it um, up to the crossing. Can someone move? Uh, no, the crossing, uh, the center of the village. Yeah, a bit more further to Al Cross. Yeah, another uh, perception. Who is leading? Tony. Nice, nice. Okay. okay. So to your north, uh, behind the, the houses there, you, you hear um, noises. I hear noises yeah. behind those houses. Yes, behind these groups, of, group of houses. Shall we have a look? Oh. Yeah. We need to rest first. Yeah. My, I thought we need to rest first and then wake up, you know, sort of mid-afternoon or to early afternoon and then preserve as much daylight while we're healthy. What do you think? I think we, will, we wouldn't have much time to explore. Uh, the thing is, I used all my spell slots and I used my divine... Yeah, we need a long ability. one. So basically, yeah, um, so I can't do nothing if I just go I'll just attack my weapon and that's it. Uh, how about we swing around here as we go to the, you know, yeah. to, to the west to camp, that's then we good. come back. And I would say, I mean, I'm really let's interested in the bells probably coming from the chapel. But yeah, let's swing around the middle of the town. So yeah, we would like to move here, probably stealthy, and try okay. to see what's here. <laughs> oh. Okay, who is the stealthiest among you? Can can you give me a, a, an order of battle? I mean... <laughs> who is leading? Stealth is an leading. forte, I think. I'm leading, and uh, let, let me try to be stealthy. I am at this vantage, but maybe I can okay. do it. Let's see. Okay, Tony, and who is uh, behind Tony or by the side of Tony? I mean, I can go with you. 
I'm not going because I can't do any stats. I give 11. So, Becky is slightly behind Tony. Yeah, I'll go with you. I'm staffing. Kind of. <laughs> oh, nice. And then it's a Cal, and I suppose last is uh, Doran, but uh, you signal him to come when it's really safe. Okay. That's so, safe. as you reach uh, inside uh, this small group of uh, houses that have uh, really uh, in bad shape and quite collapsed, uh, you hear the noise and uh, more and more, and apparently across the street, really in the north, you see a free uh, uh, human uh, uh, shapes uh, that are hanging around, uh, just uh, randomly uh, looking at stuff, searching. How do you dress? Yeah, they are dressed in uh, in barely uh, uh, any clothes are, are left uh, on them, and, and they, they do look like uh, uh, actually. So they look uh, like corpses. Corpses, not... yes, moving I corpses. See. Yeah. So I I I whisper to the team. Looks like there are some um, deeds roaming around. I would like to avoid encountering them. Yeah. Maybe we should go back here and try to get here. Okay. So you, I, I don't think it's so difficult to, to, uh, to backtrack and, uh, and go back from where you were and try to, to move. Uh, can you roll another stealth check just to make sure? No one is rolling a one. Everybody? Everybody? Everyone? Okay, let's do it. It's lagging. Okay. Okay, Tony makes it back. Um, I, it's a 12 because it's in disadvantage, so... Okay. Yeah. Okay, some some of the uh, planks on the uh, on, uh, fallen timbers are a bit cracking uh, under your steps, but uh, apparently nothing uh, really happened. And uh, you cautiously uh, go back to where you were and can proceed to the direction of Alcross as you intended. Good. Let's do that. Okay, so let me move you to the global map. Uh, where is it? Yeah. Yes. So I change you to uh, the new map. Uh, Thank you. It's a bit so yeah, our, yeah. our plan is to travel west for about two hours. Okay. I think. Okay. Maybe here. Two hours. Here. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, that's a one mile, uh, one x, uh, one mile. It's quite barren, and uh, as I told you, it's it's. Uh, there's nothing really. Maybe some some brushes, but uh, yeah, that's about it. Can under that tree for example? This is a tree. But this is quite far. This is quite far. Uh, every square is one mile, so I think reasonably we can get here, or maybe here. But one, two, three, four, five miles. Uh, one square is uh, one mile, so you would need to move uh, like five X's west if you want five miles. Wait, Maybe I, we I can... I don't understand what? miles, so I'm going to convert that into kilo to understand what. Uh, it's basically 60% more, basically. Okay. So... Okay. So you intend yeah, to, to regroup uh, uh, somewhere like how many miles from Kenmouth? Uh, five miles. Five miles, okay, got it. Yeah. So you find a spot on, um, you're a bit paranoid because you, you came from something you really did not expect and uh, actually uh, all this nature that looks desolated maybe is, uh, is not that desolated and maybe there are things around, but... Somehow there are more animals, uh, more small creatures, uh, um, uh, those five miles away. Huh. 
So once we, yeah, once we reach the point, we let's prepare a campsite. Okay. So I suppose you you take some breakfast, some uh, some food uh, on the way. Yeah, that's forage. Yeah. Mm. We that, have supplies. Yeah, that would be uh, like uh, nine, maybe uh, nine thirty a.m. Mm -hmm. When you find a proper spot, okay. But uh, you you like? Let me roll something. Okay. You you already find a, a place actually that looks a bit uh, uh, on the side isolated with a good view uh, to to all direction, but that is uh, um, hidden enough uh, not to be ambushed or surprised by anyone coming. So yeah, it looks like a good spot. So I suggest, despite being day, we should start resting right now, at least part of us. Yeah. I will suggest instead of having only one person checking, let's have half of the team checking around. Two people is better than one, and uh, half of the team will rest, and vice versa. Mm. We need, um, what's, what's the rules for a prolonged rest? How many hours of actual sleeping do you need? It's, it's eight. Six. It's eight, no? But you can spend two of that, I think, two hours of that watching and two hours, and six hours resting, I think. I don't think we can do double watches the whole time. It's, well, we could, we just have to take a longer rest than eight hours. Long rest. Okay, you guys are a bit reflecting about the events on the... And oh, now you, you feel like you are out of arm's way, but uh, you're not entirely sure how to, to tackle this uh, this challenge. Yeah. I mean, once we have I think this... As long, yeah. I think as long as we we go to the village by daylight, yeah, it should, should be, fine. be fine. And we don't enter any strange buildings. Although I, I would like to stress that I'm really intrigued about the bells. Yeah, we will we go, to go to the, the chapel next. Yeah, we need yeah. To that's that. That should be our next go to. Just but ignore we everything. We didn't bring the door to the guy who wanted the door for the house. I guess. Okay, so you guys are resting, thinking, discussing, resting. Uh, let's put uh, five more hours on. Uh, so that would be uh, two thirty in the afternoon. You still have uh, two hours more for a long rest. Um, you can still discuss a bit, but uh, that uh, will lead you to around uh, four, four in the afternoon. So once we are all rested yeah. or in the afternoon, yeah. uh, my suggestion is to stay in the campsite, see what happens, and mm. we will actually... It should move at, uh, like, uh, in the yeah. morning, because it gives us more time. Like, four, we we'll just go and come back, maybe, because we need to walk five miles and come back as well. So, uh... Uh, five miles, you would do it in, what, uh, one hour and a half, because it's a bit rough terrain, but uh, not not much more than that. Yeah, but four in the afternoon, so we will basically arrive at five thirty. And there's only one. No, hour. we don't want. We don't. We don't want to go to the village. We want to stay here for the night. Yes, yes, that's okay. that's, that's what I'm okay. saying. We are saying okay. the same thing. Okay. How do you organize yourself for the night? Or maybe so, you want to do something before uh, reaching the night. I want to. Is there a possibility to climb? climb a tree, how hard is it? Uh, let me check if there is something in, in the... Um, no, there are not really trees. There are, <laughs> yes, there are small trees uh, around where you are, but uh, it, it, you won't climb them. I wanna, see, neither I. You want to climb a tree? I can help you with that. Actually, yes, as an Alfling, you could climb the tree, and that would be a big achievement. But uh, no, I have a spell for that. Here, I could uh, just uh, touch it. Uh. No, I mean, I have a spell for you if you want to climb a tree. No, no, there is no need. There is no need. I was just 
planning how to. But it's a very cool how... spell. Don't do it. I don't want. <laughs> so uh, yeah, my suggestion is to spend the night with two people resting and two people checking, and exchanging turns like every four hours. Okay. Okay. So, uh, as you prepare for the night, you, you make uh, one supper before going to bed on, uh, on uh, tell each other horror stories about uh, things you heard on, uh, in your lifetime or, or, or trying to make up stories so uh, you frighten your, uh, uh, your companions and look very serious and very knowledgeable. Uh, and everybody goes to sleep beside uh, uh, the two guards who will be guarding. Two yeah. girls and two guys. Let's do it. Okay. So, yeah. You spend the night uh, for those who are guarding, uh, uh, looking around, but you wait, you wait, and it's extremely boring and it's extremely uh, difficult not to, to fall asleep. Could someone, uh, who is guarding, could the guard uh, throw a, a constitution? Uh, uh, roll die to, to see if they fall asleep or not. Sure. Yeah, you hold on, that's fine. And uh, the next one, who is uh, guarding as well? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, constitution. Oh my god, it lags so much. <laughs> roll 20. Uh, yeah, everyone's playing. <laughs> Ooh, I did oh, I did a 20, not roll 20. So, about my, so actually, uh, Tony, you are super focused. <laughs> I'm invisible. <laughs> yes, you are super focused and uh, you, you sail through the night like a uh, falcon or a uh, night owl. And uh, it, it doesn't uh, wait on you. It's, it's really very, very easy to, to guard and you feel like you were born for it. Uh, She's posing like Captain America, but one meter tall. <laughs> yes, so it's very cute. And then, <laughs> then comes the, the uh, what is it, dusk and uh, sunset. Uh, sun, sun is coming, rising in the east. Good job, guys. Yes. So, yeah, we now we travel back to the, to the village. Okay, so that would be a time for everybody to, to get ready and get up, uh, what, five... 6 a.m. I guess 6 a.m. is okay. So okay. we get there by seven half eight. Oh. Yeah. So 7:30. 7:30. You 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 get by the entrance of a of a village, and I will put you there. Mm. Thanks. So here you are. And uh, then again, the the atmosphere is changing, and. Uh, you see uh, less and less uh, wildlife and uh, some kind of silence. Someone roll a, a perception check? Sure. Yeah, something really uh, that you thought um, um, you, you could notice is uh, you see again one of those uh, marks that you saw when you first approached the village uh, disturbed earth, disturbed dirt on the floor, <sighs> the size of a tomb. Yeah, they are sleeping there. Yeah, it's, it's their time no, to take a long rest. Yeah, let's avoid collecting bones. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a good idea. Yeah, it was. If there was only three skeletons, probably it would have worked. Uh, all right. So, shall we go to the chapel? There is a bell. Yeah, let's check out check. the bell boy. So, okay. since the marshes looked quite dangerous, I suggest moving. Yeah, along hay. the coast. Yeah. yeah. Maybe oh, we so... can do like this. Yes. Okay. So, can you do um, it a bit by bit uh, so I, I can yeah. uh, do a few things? Okay, so roll again. When here. you are here, roll again when uh, uh, perception check. Sure. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I like those rolls. Yes, and uh, there again you notice uh, one of those uh, uh, disturbed earth uh, patch of uh, dirt uh, on the floor. 
uh, yes, 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 indeed. And then in the distance, um, close to the town hall. Oh, here? Yes. Uh, you, you turn suddenly to your companion and tell them to be quiet. You notice the, at least two of the figures you saw uh, yesterday. So let's try this. Since we have those zombie guards checking around, we could move in between the buildings, like here and then here. You see what I mean? We call the void the roads mm -hmm. to stay in more hidden, like this. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, OK. Uh, that's what you propose, right? Yeah, yeah I'm proposing it? to the team. OK. Fine. Yeah, I'm okay with if that. everything, if, if everybody is okay with it, yeah, we will do it. Keep so we will reach this area and move between the buildings. If houses are too close and dangerous, we will avoid doing that. So it depends how much space there is in between the houses. Um, space between the houses, uh, you know, sometimes the walls are, are collapsed, so it's it's bit. But uh, originally, maybe the houses were like uh, six meters uh, apart. Yeah, then I think it's it should be safe. So yeah, we move. We try to stay quite hidden mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. follow mm -hmm. this path. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you could move just uh, a character bit by bit uh, to different. Sure. Yeah, that's what I'm okay. doing. I see it. Okay, so yeah, okay, that's fine. Let me see. Check something. Yeah, okay, yeah. Roll for perception. Sure. Again, twenty. No, <laughs> Nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah, you see one of one of a patch of uh, dirt. Uh, you 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 recognize. You you know what it is. Where is he? Which area? Uh, it's it's a bit it? north. Uh, uh, yes, uh, a bit north of where you are at the moment. Like here. Uh, okay. Can we wait for them to move uh, away? No, it's a patch of the, of a disturbed earth. It's not a. Ah, ah so, sorry, sorry. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Then yeah, we we want to move here in between the two houses. Okay to eventually move here. That's fine. Then we move here. Yeah, you are you are cautious or not cautious or uh, describe a bit how you move, guys. Basically, I lead them. Yeah. And uh, every time we are passing a building, yes. I check the sides first to see okay. whether there is something. If I feel it's okay. safe, I give them a sign to move. Okay. So yeah, uh, if you assess time, it would be uh, like a ten to eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Next. Okay. Next. So move here. Yeah. Yeah. Then here. Okay. So yeah. Here. Good. Good. Move slowly. Slowly. You slowly progress okay. towards the end of, a, of this village. Um, you are quite careful, so let's say it's eight ten. Yeah. Move here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Here. That's fine. Uh, just uh, I need to let you know something. Ah, yes. Uh, when you are here, you you notice again the, the same tree. You remember the row one tree with its yeah, uh, red berries? Yeah. Yes. Um, yes, and uh, you remember actually we have uh, the tomb of uh, El Damia. What's was that? Name? El Di yeah. El Di yeah, yeah, that was around there. Yeah. So, did you guys decide to move? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so please. Yeah. Uh, I'd like a perception check now. Sure. Ta -da. Yeah, who else? I can't roll 20 forever. Uh, okay, anyone Anybody else? Anybody else? Okay, mine, not that good. Okay, good. <laughs> it's enough. <laughs> okay, what do you, so there is the round three on uh, 
Yeah, what do you guys decide to do? We would like to move here. Okay. So, then here. Yeah, nothing really happens. Uh, on the way, actually, you 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 notice again the uh, the patch of uh, dirt uh, where the the so-called witch was buried, and apparently the, the earth was moved again. Oh, are the, the bones, bones there? Was moved. Well, can you we can dig move? if you want. Yeah, can we just quickly check if? Yeah, let's have a look. Yeah. Okay, it's uh, eight thirty, and uh, it will take you. Uh, do you have any tools to dig? Uh, I we guess have a shovel. Have a shovel yeah. yeah. Okay, so it will take you uh, probably uh, between twenty to thirty minutes to to manage to to reach uh, to something. That's yeah. fine. Okay. We need to confirm okay. something. Yeah. So as you guys uh, start to dig and dig and dig and dig, you think there is nothing until. Uh, Suddenly, your shovel hits bones. Yeah. Let's check if the bones are burned. Yes. So you check again, and uh, has anyone some arcana or sure. uh, some? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. I can Go do on. arcana. Come on. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice 21. Good. And uh, you see the bones uh, on the bones uh, certainly uh, bear some 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 sort of marks of burns, but uh, oh, apparently apparently uh, well you know it's it's uh, very something here that regenerates. Uh, yeah, bones. damn, it didn't work. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Yeah. And, and you, are, you are quite sure that uh, the that's poor the girl. girl that was, yeah. yeah. Because uh, the neck is still broken yeah, and, and yeah. you recognize the shape. And, uh, well, that would have been way too easy, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Well, at least we know burning is a waste of time. Yeah, we're going to solve what's going on in the chapel, probably. Yeah, let's, let's head on to the chapel then. I agree. Okay. So, so you see, to check this bridge. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you arrive there. Uh, you see. Let me move you to a different map. Oh, there's a map for this. Uh, well, sort it of. Means it's dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. I've got this. Uh, no, I won't move you. <laughs> um, Okay, so basically it, it's a quite a small bridge, uh, but uh, quite sturdy because it has uh, held um, the, the test of uh, of years uh, for a few decades and now. And uh, yeah, it's pretty holding, uh, no well made and really out of stone. And um, to the north you have marshes and you see uh, this uh, a bit in the distance this uh, mound, but. Uh, you were one to to avoid by the by Patrick, mm -hmm. uh, uh, half zombie, half dead uh, individual in his cabin. Both uh, yes, uh, direction to the marsh, and uh, on your east you have uh, the cliff that is uh, rising up, and um, on top of it you indeed see uh, some sort of uh, grey building with a tower. Mm. And that's where we are headed. Yeah. Right. So you 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 start uh, at the entrance of a bridge and uh, step one foot and another, and you you are thinking that uh, uh, that's we are going to some different territory there, and you are proceeding, um, and you have a water flowing under you. Okay. And uh, you you really reach uh, some area that is a bit different it looks different um, not 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 specifically uh, the landscape but the atmosphere is a uh, is a uh, full of tension more tension than uh, what was there in, in the village oh. yeah. yeah 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 okay this place is too dense it's creepier 
Uh, it's a bit creepier. Uh, so you cross the bridge and uh, you reach the other side and uh, you arrive to to this uh, small uh, mount. Let me put you to see soon um, so you have a, a tall building do you see it it's loading okay we even on trans uh, and uh, it's indeed the uh, saint sid vela uh, chapel on the side you see uh, graves uh, of all sorts it's uh, apparently where the, the inhabitants of uh, the small uh, city of uh, Kenmouth uh, were buried uh, for generations. You have stone graves, you have uh, graves that uh, are probably 200 or more years old. Some that have a different design uh, for different uh, period of time, but all seem to, to have been uh, disturbed with uh, dirt on the uh, earth uh, all around mm -hmm. it around, mm -hmm. all around each patch i suggest giving a look around the perimeter of the church before trying to get inside the, let me give you a, a, a description of the chapel sure. so this is the chapel of uh, san sid vela it's not a graceful building um, there is just a, a nice uh, bell tower on its uh, southern side I will, I will reveal it just a minute. Reveal area. So that's, that's the southern side. Mm. Yeah. And uh, let me reveal over. Is it revealing on your side? Yeah. Yeah. OK. Uh, Okay, so these are the side of the building. Does the name okay. Saint Sidvella ring a bell? Uh, yes, you can. Uh, you can uh, roll for uh, something historical. History? Anyone has history? Uh, yeah, we already roll. We already roll about it sometimes ago. It's a saint, actually. Okay. Yes, it's a saint that was uh, famous for its uh, he his healing power. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so let me read you more. So there is a bell tower on the southern side, and it would be a little more than a greystone box, um, about uh, 30 feet wide and 50 feet long, and around 15 feet high. To add to the sense of desolation, its stained glass windows are all broken, and jagged charts hang in the edge of the windows. Scattered around the chapel are dozens of grave markers, ranging from simple wooden sign to heavy slab of carved stone. So there are several generations of people who were born, on, uh, were born and died in Kenmouth and are buried here. The soul of every grave is heavily churned, suggesting that someone of something has recently disturbed the graves. Hmm. Can we see anything through the broken stained glass windows into the inside? Uh, you, you can try, yes, uh, to, to get uh, clo closer and maybe uh, someone can uh, lift you up. It's, it's not uh, easy, uh, like, it's also a protective uh, walls, so you you would have to to have someone to support you to 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 peep inside. Uh, yeah, sure, maybe. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna carry him. Okay. I'm so, pretty I'm pretty low. Maybe it makes more sense for for one of us to, to lift up one of the smaller yeah ones rather than yeah. So 
<laughs> Where are you guys located? Can you put a character somewhere uh, that uh, represents the group? Somebody. All right. Well, mine is broken, so someone else. Okay, okay. Uh, somebody already did. Okay. We could probably all put ours here, but anyway. Um. So, I can't get a sense really of how. Is it really just one square building? It's not. It's not. Um, yes, it's pretty square. It's like a rectangular building, building with a top. Uh, it's really uh, not particular. From outside, it's not so extreme. Okay, so the group is here, and I suppose somebody uh, is carried on your shoulder. Yeah, I guess. I guess that what would make sense if, is probably Becky Ray is probably the lightest. Go with that. Uh, Are you saying I'm fat? You're wearing <laughs> no. a lot of armor. You're heavy boned. <laughs> you're, you're you're armored. Okay, <laughs> yes, that's probably correct. So uh, as uh, as you see a bit uh, more inside, actually, you you think it's pretty well maintained for um, uh, for something that was abandoned for fifty years. Right. It's uh, definitely it's well maintained, but. It was um, it was also abandoned. You, you see that it's not uh, pristine. It's uh, there's a difference between the aspect of desolation and decay from outside and uh -huh. from the inside. Uh, on the right side, you see uh, uh, a skeleton on an altar. Ah, it's a skeleton. Okay. Yeah, on an altar. There is something on the altar, right? Yes, very, very. Uh, uh, apparently, a statue of uh, Sid Vela. Ah, makes sense. Or oh, you don't know exactly because uh, actually, uh, you guess that's your guess that it would be Sid. Yeah. Vela. All right. Well, I guess we walk in the front door then. It's locked. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you guys move. Uh, but the front... listening, I guess we know what's in, on the other side. Yeah, so you you reach to the other side, and actually uh, it looks uh, quite blocked to to open this door. Oh, is it? Is it blocked? Okay. Yeah. Uh, is it blocked by some, what should we call it, like a wooden plank? You know, some mechanical blocking. Um... The door looks locked. And, uh, locked. Okay. Well, yeah. can't do much about that. Mm. Well, I could go around it, I guess, and see if that skeleton has maybe the keys. You are inside on your own and you get attacked. I don't think that would be a good idea. What? I can you... sneak inside and try to get the key. Well, that's what I'm talking about. If only one of us mm -hmm. is inside and they get ambushed, we can't help them from outside. Uh, it's fine. I I think I can run away if, if I get ambushed in there. I have a spell that can help me to quickly that's climb true. in and out. Are you sure, Big Sis? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. And I want to show you my new spell. <laughs> okay. Did we go back okay. and throw you in? You were really yeah, looking yeah. forward to it. You really yeah. want to try it, huh? So, okay, so you, you go back? Yeah, as you raise me up to the to the broken window, I just cast uh, Spider Climb on myself. Okay. And uh, now I have a climbing speed. So I can okay. basically walk on walls like a spider. Like yeah, so you can walk like a spider up to a window. Yeah, yep. what do you do? And walk down. Uh, let me just try to do it like this, so I guess here. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Okay, <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, so you step you step inside the... Okay, I step, so I just step inside, okay. Inside the shuttle. Okay, uh, so you, you progress uh, cautiously and, uh, and try to observe a bit uh, what's going on inside the chapel. There is, uh, of course, a light from the day uh, that is filtering through the, the broken okay. uh, windows. Um, I'm not afraid. Sarah no, is uh, watching. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> uh, can uh, Tony 
yeah. uh, or um, a Cal uh, throw uh, throw die, perception die. Perception. I I will roll it. Aha! Uh -huh. Tony the Ranger. Yeah. Okay. So Tony, Becky Ray, no Tony, I'm Cal. Cal also, sure. Yeah, so it, it was an intuition first, but uh, Cal just confirmed it. Uh, yes, this this earth is trembling. There, there are um, the, the, the patches are, are suddenly uh, uh, there is dirt uh, rolling uh, on the sides. Uh, apparently, something is trying to push from uh, all around you. You notice it's not just one, but uh, all the other um, tombs that you see, all the other patch of dirt. That you are seeing are starting to 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 move and and come alive. Oh boy! How far is um, Ray hmm? in our operation? Are you ready inside? Ray yeah. is a 50, fifteen uh, three squares inside. Yeah, I see. Actually, you can uh, see uh, you can see a sort of system that is uh, blocking the door. It's not really a, a big system. It's like a, a big. Uh, it's like um, a... Like a wooden yes. plank, right? Yeah. Yeah, but it's pretty heavy. It's like super maxi heavy. Okay. Yeah. What if we get tall inside from the window? What well, do you mean? You have to decide really what you want to do because uh, you start to see uh, at least uh, one hand emerging uh, from okay. uh, one of the graves. Well, I run to this door and try to get rid of yeah. the. And we move here. The yeah. the thingy. Okay, that's a DC uh, strength of fifteen. Oh my god, strength yeah. really. Okay, here we go. <laughs> it's a strength check, right? Yeah. Okay, I might be able to add seven race help with this. We will see how well I roll. Oh, it's too heavy. <laughs> ah, it's too heavy. Nah, too heavy. <laughs> Uh, okay, so uh, guys, you are starting to notice things that you really, really, really don't like, and I'm going to put them on the map. Uh, how do you do that? I need to go to token. Uh, why don't I have this? I want to put skeleton that are starting to emerge on the map, but uh, it's very difficult. So now you, you really see from almost every tomb around there uh, hands on the, on the heads that are starting to appear and the bodies that are starting to, to pull themselves uh, out of a... Uh... About how many do we see, roughly? Oh, uh, you see much more than you can count, probably. Uh, oh, uh, a dozen over there, a dozen there, and uh, you hear a noise from another dozen. Apparently, all the graveyard is starting to to come to life. Oh boy. That's scary. Yeah. Guys. No. We can't leave. Oh, man. What do we do? Hold on. I'm trying to open the door. <laughs> I'm... <sighs> Mm, I think I need to give our hunt. There is still uh, Gilles. Yes. There is still space to get inside. Uh, you, guys have, uh, you, you guys have uh, uh, one move and a half uh, of action before uh, the, those um, skeletons are out of there. So, so you do have to decide what you want to do carefully now. Yeah, I, I want I want to get inside. I give her help opening the door. Okay. So who is going to bring you inside? Duran. Is it okay uh, for you? Well, I I'm gonna carry you, I guess. Yeah, just you just need to lift me. Let's yeah, go. Sure. Let's go. You guys have to decide your action because that will be. Uh, yeah. Sure. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, could you all put your characters uh, on the map? Okay. Okay. Who else? I try changing the map. 
the image to a transparent one, but it still has the back, like the white background for some reason. Uh, okay. Well, why, why I can't move uh, my uh, skeletons? Uh, edit, let me see. It's in peer control. Where do you see the control? Uh, you have to click on the token. Yes. And then there is a kind of a setting icon. Okay, uh, token, but the token is not on the board. Yeah. I can't bring it to the board. I, I can see, uh, ah, this is probably the new token for Duran. Yeah, unfortunately uh, I cannot bring it to the board. Uh, let me see with a different way with uh, the library. Oh, no, I do it like this. Uh, okay, so, okay. I'm bringing uh, one image, one image. Uh, basically, you can imagine that each uh, token represents uh, roughly a uh, five uh, five uh, skeleton. Yeah. So we are slowly converging towards you, and that to me that looks uh, a lot more than you can really fight uh, to win. <laughs> looks like that to me too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, oh, there are on the inside the charge too. On the inside also. No, 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 no. It's just that uh, I cannot move them. Why I can't move them? Yes. How can I move this guy? Can someone control it? I can't. It's, uh, it's not working well. Nope. So uh, they're all outside. I don't know. I, I can't, uh, can't. Uh, it's okay. They're all outside and you start to be surrounded by uh, by skeletons that have uh, emerged emerge from the, the tombs. They, there is still uh, dirt that is dripping from them and they're slowly uh, uh, moving Guys, towards you. what's the panic? I thought we were throwing uh, Tony in and then... So yes, Tony is thrown because that was your action, your decision. Can you just roll a, a die to make sure nothing bad happened to you when you are thrown inside? I roll on what? Uh, D20, uh, just avoid to make a critical uh, failure. Rolled. How much is that? That's a nine. nine. Yeah, that's a, so you, you manage somehow to, to, to get inside. A, uh, it's a bit high for you and, and you fall more than a really uh, uh, um, manage to, to land uh, correctly. But uh, OK, that's not very gracious, but you, you manage to get inside the, the chapel. And I would like to try to open this. OK, so let's roll uh, your D15 at an advantage, because you are both together, or you have enough strength yeah. to, to lift Common it. Common on the count of three. One, two, three. I did 20 with the first roll. That's oh, yeah. so yeah. yes, uh, the, the door uh, can be open now. You, you, you manage somehow with yeah. the energy of uh, despair. I loosen uh, it up for you. Yeah, you managed to, to lift up uh, a big plank. Uh, okay. I hope the other guys can reach us. Yeah. So, Cal and Doran, what are you guys doing? Because uh, now you are surrounded by around 20 skeletons. I guess Cal's not going to try to fight. He's going to take whatever attacks of opportunity will come to him and try to run for the door. Okay. So let me see how many uh, attack of opportunity you're going to get. Wow, okay, so you're going to take six of them. Jesus. Okay. That's probably going to kill me. Let me see. Five. I guess I'll go into a rage as I do that. How Whoa, that? okay. So I'll that's what they roll. Uh, the 11, what's your uh, 11 plus 4, 14, uh, 14, no, 11 plus 4, that's 15. What's your armor class? 
17. Okay. So you've been, uh, you go through and you are scratched and, uh, and bruised and pushed. Let's roll one last. Uh, on an 18, sorry. Yes, the last one before you enter and manage to, to go through uh, the door. You get a, a stab in the back and that's uh, damage. That's a uh, uh, short sword. That's 1d6 plus two piercing damage. That's a five damage you, you get in the back as you enter. Okay, it's a half, so two because of rage. Okay. Got it, okay. Um, Zie, what do you do, <laughs> Doran? Well, I'm going to do the same thing, basically rush to the door, but because I have a halberd, I, I usually keep like people away from me using that halberd. That's yep. in my character, so basically I'm gonna Use the halberd like a fan, basically. I'm gonna like roll it around, roll it around while moving, so that nothing can go within the range of that halberd. Basically, anything that goes in range is going to get smashed by it, basically, while I move towards the door. Okay. Uh, you if move. Anything, the... Yeah, if anything goes in range, it's actually going to give me an opportunity attack on it. That's going to be a bit difficult because uh, you have uh, two uh, uh, skeletons that are blocking you uh, on on the way. So you need to go through them at least. Uh, well, you will get uh, some uh, attacks from behind. Well, like I said, I'm just uh, I'm, I'm moving the halberd down like a pen, basically. So they they if they stay there, they are going to get hit by it while I move forward. Okay, but you have to roll for attack, no? Don't you? Sure. Okay. Okay. So I roll for each one. Yeah, two of them. Okay. Wow, that's a 25. Okay, how many damage? And uh, it's eight damage. Okay, so you pushed a bit uh, the skeleton, but that's not uh, enough to, to make uh, damage. There are more attacks on you. Uh, one uh, completely stumbles and apparently uh, decapitates the, the skeleton on, on, on its side. Uh, though you have an 18 that goes through. What's your armor class? Uh, 19. Uh, wait, um, double welding, so it's 17 now. Okay, 17. So you get a, a 18, it goes through with a plus 4. On, that's a 1d6 damage plus 2. Wow, that's 8 damage, I'm afraid. Fine. Yeah, it's a, a short sword that goes uh, right into your ribs and uh, it's quite painful. And, uh, you still have uh, these two uh, skeletons uh, in front of you. It's like my armor is not working on these guys. Mm. Why am I wearing heavy armor? Okay, do you guys do anything uh, on your side? I just make sure I'm ready to close the door once they get in. Nothing okay. else. Uh, all of them are in besides um, Doran, that is uh, actually blocked by two skeletons uh, that are in front of uh, of him. And uh, another uh, four that are hacking where, at him on the side. Where am I exactly? Because I put my token here. Yes, you are here. Uh, okay, there are just so. two skeletons uh, okay. uh, preventing you. And actually, uh, you see a bit further more skeletons uh, getting... Uh, Towards you. And uh, you have your friends that are just watching you being uh, slashed. Okay. Uh, in, okay. Can I use a bonus action? Is it still my turn or is it over? Yes, you can still have uh, your turn. Okay, I'm going to use uh, Divine Favor. So whenever my weapon basically like hits anything, it deals an extra one before Radiant Damage. Okay, okay. So let's move for another round of combat. Yeah, another six die. And uh, roll your die because we'll do this uh, simultaneously. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Seventeen. And uh, 24. Okay, 24, good. How many damage? Okay, here, I'll And that's 13 plus... 
uh, the second on the four. That's a 13. Okay, so no, 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 it's not 13. That's one. So it's 14 because I need to roll for the. Okay. Yeah. With, with a 14, you, you managed to completely destroy uh, one of the uh, skeleton that was blocking you. Just one left. And uh, you have a 17 armor. So there are two dice. Actually, no, 17. Uh, for, uh, equal, equal, does it um, do yes, damage yes. to you? It's a hit. Oh my God. So three dice, uh, three d6. It's, uh, it was 17? 17? Yeah, so my, that's. So my, I, I'm 17 as well. Does this hit? If it's the same thing? Yeah, if it's, if it's equal, then it's a hit. Oh, okay. So that's a 14 damage, I'm afraid. Okay. Um, what shape are you in uh, at the moment? Okay, yeah, just a second. So I'm going to just uh, write that down 14, 22, 22 now. And then it's going to be 8 and I would like to use my lay on hands to heal myself. Okay. So... Okay, can we also have a turn? Yes, of course. Uh, you guys are, are free to intervene. It's okay. just that uh, you were watching him. Uh... Yeah, no, I don't want to watch him die. Uh, I'll cast Cure Wounds. Okay. But because it's a touch spell, I'm also going to burn one sorcery point to make it mm. distant. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's nice. So I'm basically, you see Becky uh, kind of like just touch the air and then <laughs> try to heal. Uh, okay, it's automatic? Or you have to um, No, I mean, it just goes through. Uh, okay. Oh, sorry, I forgot to attack with the other side of the weapon because I'm double wielding. I should have had more attack, actually. Times. Uh, okay, <laughs> let's say let's say you were confused on the uh, stuff. Yeah. Uh, so you cast some off. Okay, that's very generous. All right, you get. <laughs> that's terrible. Oh well, you get this five points of healing from points. me. Okay, that's thirteen. I'm going to heal myself as well on my turn. Well, okay, just run. Oh, yeah, why running? Because I just touch myself. Really. Oh. I'm not sure how it works. All right. So next round, uh, you still have one of those uh, pesky uh, skeleton blocking you uh, to uh, safety, and another uh, lot of uh, skeletons surrounding you. What, what situation is he in? It's, uh, I'm trying to understand so I can figure out if I need to come out to yeah. help if I can. He's got just one skeleton on him, or is he just completely surrounded? He's surrounded in the back and on the side, and there is uh, one skeleton in front of him. Uh, there are more skeleton converging uh, slowly uh, uh, towards him, and uh, if he managed to kill this last uh, skeleton, he could move in. Yeah. Okay. And do can can we get? Is it his turn to attack, or is it can it be one of our turns to attack? Or? Yeah, you can intervene. Uh, at, at okay. I'll, I'll try and help him with that one skeleton. I don't know where it is really, but it, it's just in front of him. Yeah, it's uh, where you have put your. Uh, Oh, okay. okay, so I could go here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so Cal, please, uh, if you want to have a go at the skeleton. Okay. Thank you. Those blood skeletons. Um. Okay. And it's if it's a skeleton, it's a hammer that I'm swinging, so it'd be. Well, no, it's a nine. I don't hit. No, <laughs> you, don't, you don't go through. I completely miss. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, yes, that does. <laughs> okay, I'm so, going to attack seriously, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so... Um, uh, Let's do this, uh, yeah. Okay, I'm attacking and I'm using uh, one of my fighting styles, but I'm going to do it after I roll. So first yeah. I'm going to roll for attack. Okay, I need some mine, but... Just a second. It's, uh, yeah, it's guided strike. So it gives me plus 10 bonus to the attack roll, basically. This okay. is my channel divinity. So this is going to be a 19. Okay. So I'm going to hit double a little bit. And it's 7 plus 1d4, which is uh, 10. Just a second. And... 
Uh, using my Divine Smith. Mm. This is a fighting style, kind of thing. And um, use one spell slot to deal radiant damage on the target. And um, the damage increases by 1d8 if the target is undead. Yeah. So, uh, I'm just 2d8 plus 1, 3d8. But how, uh, what's your attack uh, value of final? I didn't understand. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm rolling now. So it's uh, 2 oh, right. to 1 plus yeah. 10. Yeah. It goes through, definitely. Yeah, so please destroy this skeleton, otherwise you're in a bad situation. Okay, so it's dead now. No, 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 you have to roll for damage. What's the damage? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I did. It's 7 plus 3 plus 21. That's the damage, actually. Oh, all 31. right, so yeah, you completely destroy the skeleton. Let me roll for uh, the attacks that are on you. Uh, so that's two that go through. And that's another, uh, that's a plus two. Yeah, so that's uh, five plus uh, four, that's uh, nine damage, nine initial damage. They are really, really plunging their swords into you as you reach for the door. Yeah, I take nine damage. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. So that will be... Okay, I have four HP left, guys. <laughs> yeah. So he's all bleeding <laughs> I... and everything. <laughs> I... I want to cast a spell. Hold on, hold on. Uh, and uh, as the, the skeletons are closing, uh, they are reaching to the door uh, on his tracks, but then they stop. They just uh, oh. stop at the chapel. What happened? Why didn't you come in, Mr. Skeleton? Huh? You don't like the temple, do you? Uh, can someone do some religion? Oh, I can. Uh, I will. That, okay. I think we can both, or all of us, technically, <laughs> we're all religious. 11, okay, anything uh, better on an 11? Let's see, religion. Eh. Oh. <laughs> eh. They don't like the color of the walls. Okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Steam. Anyone else? Not a religious guy. Okay. Uh, I can rule. Uh, yeah, religious. Paladin could, uh, uh, could accept that. Okay. It's a 10. Yeah, no, you notice that they stop, and uh, apparently it's uh, it's uh, because you are inside the chapel, but you have no, no really. Clue. Uh, anyway, I would like to cast a spell because the paladin is quite wounded, right? Yeah, yeah, he's, he's uh, pre in pretty bad shape. He's bleeding from every everywhere. So, yeah, Same. I will cast a heal light to our wounds. I will also cast a lay on hands on myself. I'll show you. There is it. I heal twelve. Mm, nice. That's four plus twelve. That's sixteen. And I will use my lay on hands. I have a full of fifteen HP, so I'm going to use fourteen out of it to heal back to maximum health. I have one more. Okay. Come back to full light skies. So you're back at full? Yep. Oh, okay. Oh. So as you guys are starting to regroup, uh, you observe a bit more what's going on in this uh, chapel. You just in altar? case, because it creeps me out, let's, yes. let's just close the door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, makes sense. Okay. I guess the skeletons are just looking through the door at us. It's like, ah, yes, they are. Yeah, they that's are. creepy. Yeah. Let's just close the door. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, um, back there in the in the distance, uh, you you can see um, basically uh, an altar yeah. with uh, a god, an ancient god. That guy no, is... it's a uh, by, by the side of a skeleton. Ah, yes. So it's there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I yeah. would move there if I could. Uh, Tony, and, uh... can, can you move me there? 
You need me to move you. <laughs> or well, you can move. I don't. You know. Right, let's uh, let's let Gilles finish the description first. Okay. So uh, let me see. It's a D one. Okay. So the altar is uh, is quite humble. It's not uh, something very luxurious, and it's cut out of uh, some stone, gray stone. On top of it, uh, there is a, a carving of a local god. And uh, you have Saint Sidvela that is uh, kneeling uh, at the foot of a, of a statue. And that's about it. And uh, on, uh, on the side, just before it, you have a, a skeleton that is uh, lying. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look, I guess. You want to move here, you said. Uh, I mean, let's all go and check out that altar. Okay. So it's a code that you you, you don't uh, really recognize, but uh, it's it's quite. Um, it looks a, a good god. It doesn't look awful like a god that demands sacrifices and uh, has uh, blood dripping from his mouth. No, it, it looks like a benevolent uh, god. And uh, Saint Sidvela is uh, actually kneeling at the feet of a god. Uh, and uh, when you look up, actually, you see that through the windows, the, the skeletons uh, all around you, all around the, the windows are, are banging slightly. Annoying. Yeah, pretty yeah, much. Shush. <laughs> I would like to have a closer look at this body. Yeah. So uh, at the foot of the altar, you have um, the, the remain of, uh, you don't know, it, he still uh, has uh, his clothes on, but it's uh, all in a state of decay, of course. Uh, this skeleton doesn't look like it has been activated for long. It has a, a thin layer of uh, dust uh, covering it. And um, you notice that uh, one of uh, the hand, the left hand, has only three fingers. And that's about uh, all that is uh, noticeable about this uh, skeleton. Does his garments remind me of a priest? No, not at all. It looks more like a, a common man, uh, maybe a fisherman. I see. Uh, I would like to check whether he holds something interesting. No, just, uh, you notice just uh, his hand are, are completely empty and one of his hand has, uh, the only noticeable thing is one of his hand, the left hand has uh, three missing fingers. Uh, I pointed to the other guys. This guy misses three fingers on his left hand. I'm not sure. If this might help us, but I I would like to check the altar. Yes. Uh, and in the background, uh, you have uh, some tomb apparently, uh, some with a, uh, a probably the same scent uh, lying on top of it, the statue of a saint. And yeah, guys, let's have a look. There must be an access to the bell, or the, there must be more here. I would like to get close to the. Actually, tent. in terms of access uh, to the bell, that's uh -huh. a good question. That's uh, on the uh, on your uh, right side. You have a spiraling uh, stairs that apparently are, are going up. I would like to have a look at the um, the. Uh, is this a uh, a tomb, actually, or just an altar? This one. Uh, apparently, it's a tomb. It's a tomb, yes. The um, or it's a uh, maybe it's a shrine. Actually, it's a uh, it's quite impressive, much more impressive than the altar. Uh, it's quite huge and imposing. Yeah, you look a bit closer, and it's in, indeed a stone tomb that was uh, carved with uh, small images of. Uh, Sid Vela's life, and you see uh, some of the miracles that Sid Vela has done. Um, all around it are all the uh, wooden shelves. You, you can see the shelves on, on the map. Yeah, 
I would like to ask you. Oh, but uh, let, let me finish. Sure. Uh, <laughs> there, are, uh, there are offerings um, that we are bring uh, along the years, uh, silver image of a saint, uh, silver plates, silver goblets, silver rings engraved with an uh, image of uh, Silveda. Um, on, the, on the top of the tomb, there is a, a glass and silver box that apparently contain a hand. That's the one we were told about. Yeah, you're quite sure that's uh, probably the relic of the saint um, by I which see. the chapel priest uh, uh, thought uh, the, the miracle we are occurring after our death. Seems like that uh, I, I pointed to the team. But there is one question I want to ask you, Gilles. Yes. I want to check whether the tomb mm. has dust in it or not. Yes, it does have dust. Well, um, I'd say yes and no. Yes, uh, it looks like it was undisturbed. But no, it looks like uh, it's somehow maintained, somehow. compared to the rest of the chapel, the, the chapel is in the same condition or it's, it's just this it, item? The, the chapel is in a reasonable condition. I see. Yes. What, what's here? Can you reveal it? Ah, okay. So over there, you apparently uh, uh, get closer on uh, what you see is uh, some sort of uh, trap. There is uh, a trap door. Yeah, for the mm. uh, money oriented among you, um, the, the tomb is uh, surrounded with uh, quite a, a number of valuables. Uh, roughly, probably, you, you could get out of it uh, 1,100 uh, gold pieces. It's uh, like a silver goblet, I told you, um, uh, offerings to Saint uh, Sidvela. Okay, guys, let's let's put the hand inside the box we bought. Duran, can you manage this? It was here. Just before we touch that box. Yeah. Do we think there's, I mean, I'm just worried about somebody right, that was lying right next to the box somehow lost three fingers. So do we think the box is safe to touch? Um, we have a box. We have a box. Uh, what, what I was saying is taking the hand that was inside a kind of a, it's a, I don't know how to pronounce, a relic. Yeah, it's a relic, right? Relic, yes. So it's, yeah. Do you guys want to observe a bit closer this, uh, this relic? Yes. Yeah, why not? OK. Uh, but uh, I'm afraid it is now 11 PM, and uh, we'll have to stop uh, the game. <laughs> ah, OK. Well, yeah. thanks for the game, guys. Hmm. Yeah, sorry about uh, the roll twenty. I don't know what's going on. It's, it's, it's very difficult. Weird. Don't worry it's about super it. Super difficult. Yeah. Super. Don't difficult. worry about it. You you will get better with practice and just you know. No, but uh, I can't move. But... I can't move uh, the icons and just. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. getting in the way of uh, the story more than helping. Uh. I mean, I can't move my character either. <laughs> yeah, for instance, yes, it's. it's, it's I mean, it's, I don't know why. Oh, Harry. Yeah. yeah, that's Tony. I'm a ghost. Uh, no, don't go out. <laughs> no. <laughs> ah, yes, okay, I'm uh, dead. So <laughs> just that you you don't go to bed without uh, any. Uh, that's what you hear uh, around. No. The... no. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's what you hear around the, the chapel. Thank, Thank you, you Gilles. You. Yeah. Don't want to leave us alone. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good night, guys. See you. So while you are exploring the chapel and looking at the relic, you have a reminder of what's waiting for you outside. Great. Good. It's actually cats. They're cats. Yeah, they're just purring. I love cats. Yeah. We have a cat. Just cats. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, so we we'll stop here. And, um, shall we do this when uh, in uh, two weeks? That's uh, yeah. Sunday. Yeah. In two weeks. Sure. Why not? Okay. One yeah. thirty. And that's Sunday the first. The seventh, yeah. right? Probably yes. Next yeah, week or two calendar. weeks from now. Seventh. Yeah. Yeah, the seventh, the Sunday, June seventh. Yeah. Okay, thank you, guys. And everybody, thank, thank you. you yeah. Thank bye, you. everybody. It's really creepy. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Bye, bye. 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 bye.